Welcome to my Skyrim playthrough. Uh, I've been wanting to do a playthrough like this for a while now, where it's really immersive and kind of makes it more of a survival game. And so I'm going to self-impose some rules on this playthrough, and I'll put those down in the description, but I'm going to kind of go through them quickly right now. Um, I'm going to play one armor style, so I'm going to do light armor, two schools of magic, which um, I'll play illusion and alteration. And then one primary combat style, I'm going to use archery, and I'll do one-handed as well for when the fighting gets more up close and personal. Uh, one crafting skill, and I'm going to do alchemy with this playthrough. For this particular playthrough, I'm going to play as like a hunter rogue type. I also kind of want to play like a druid. So I'm going to play the companions up to the point where I get to become a werewolf. And I chose the race of the Wood Elf because one, the archery bonus, and um, the resistant to disease and poisons, which is going to come in handy because I am going to play a survival mode where I'll have to eat and drink, and uh, being sick or being poisoned is actually going to be um, it's going to be detrimental to the playthrough. Also, uh, note I'm going to play a permadeath, so. If this character dies, the game is over. I'm not gonna like start up from a new save. Um, so another few rules here. So I'm playing the one crafting skill, so I'm not gonna do any enchanting or smithing. So I'm gonna have to buy new items or find new items. I'll be able to use enchanted items, but I can't enchant them myself. No potions or food during battle. I'm not going to be healing myself during battle. I can heal once I'm out of battle. And for a more realistic playthrough, I'm only going to carry one bow at a time, one dagger, and one sword. It's basically things that a human or a creature like this wood elf would actually be able to carry at one time. Also no extra armors. Clothes are okay. An extra set of clothes may be for like a role-playing scenario at some point in the game. Um, and no like backpacks or anything that's going to increase my carry weight. The only way I can increase my carry weight is by increasing my stamina. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, the, only, the only mulligan I'm going to give myself is on that first dragon battle at the watchtower because that one it's pretty tough at lower levels and I'm gonna get to that as soon as I can that way um, dragons will uh, pop up as random events while I'm adventuring across the map because that makes it a little bit more tough too. The reason I like playing uh, permadeath style is there's a lot more thought that goes into how I'm gonna approach certain situations so it just makes the game a lot more fun for me and there will be more things that I'll bring up as we go through the playthrough that I'll, I'll explain as we move forward. Also note this is a heavily modded playthrough. Uh, if you want the mod list, let me know and I'll share it. It is extensive, so the game might look a little bit different, but I, I love I love the mod list. It, it makes the game fresh for me, who's been playing Skyrim pretty much since it came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, so let's do this. Name my character real quick. I pronounce this Yaakov. So accept. Uh, the first mod you'll see here is I'm doing an alternate start because I hate the vanilla start. It takes forever. It doesn't make sense for you know some types of role playing. Um, so I'm gonna approach the statue here. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. Um, I'm gonna do uh, camping in the woods. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. So basically, this character he's just gonna be like kind of camping in the woods. He's gonna hear the attack at Helgen, and then we'll kind of start from there. Um, so I'll start here. I'm gonna start with this with this particular start camping in the woods. Start south of Riverwood kind of near Helgen, so it's a it's a good alternate start to jump right into the main quest line. So you'll see here. Okay. 
here's one mod you may or may have not seen before. It's a religion mod. So you can follow all these different deities, and um, they all have different um, uh, perks that they give you for following them. I'm going to do um, the Elven Deity, Ariel. Learn all skills faster. It's going to help with this permadeath playthrough. Hit the pray once a day to keep the um, keep your favor with the deity, and you'll see that up in the upper left hand corner. Um, and that is it's basically it's a shout. So I'm gonna go ahead and favor a couple things here. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any uh, destruction or restoration magic, so those are gonna be unused. Let's check my items. Full set of light armor, which is good because that's the armor I'm gonna play with. Hunting bow and arrows, some healing potions, and some food. Food is gonna be big. We will uh, talk about that as well. There's that dragon from Helgen. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go to sleep because I want to enable the survival mod Sunhelm I think it's yeah Sunhelm um, so basically now in my items I have a I should have had Let's try it again so level up real quick I'm gonna start with uh, archery and light armor so a couple mods that I have running as far as the skill tree goes. I have Ordinator, which has a lot more mods, uh, I mean, excuse me, a lot more perks, and perks do a lot of different things than just in the vanilla game. Makes it a little more fun. And I have another, here we go, Sunhome started. And I have another mod that gives me an extra skill point on every other level up which enables me to use a lot more of these perks, so that's why I like using that. All right, so I did light armor and archery. Now I should have, yeah, there's my water skin. So if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, I have the three icons there, bread, water, and the moon. Um, that's going to track how hungry, thirsty, and sleepy my character is. And being hungry, thirsty, or sleepy will uh, affect some of the, uh, it will affect like magicka or stamina or how fast those things regenerate and stuff like that. So yeah, just makes it a lot more fun. Um, I believe, here let me equip my bow, favorite it, set that to number one. I think there's some bandits up here, so I'm gonna hang tight for a second. I also like to sneak around the woods because taking down an elk or something, it drops venison, which uh, is going to cook and eat, and the um, the hides are good to sell. And I know I'm not going to smith, but I will, I will upgrade, I will, yeah, I will upgrade armor as much as I can. Just. I'll assume that I paid the smith to do it. Alright, there's some... You know, I don't know where these guys are, so I'm gonna go to Helgen. Oh, I'm gonna take this fox out. So. Taking out animals is great because of the food. I'm not going to use the map as much because I have a mod that has uh, really good signs on the on the roads. They're really easy to follow, so it just makes it a little bit more immersive. You'll also see me just like spamming all the ingredients because my character is going to specialize in alchemy. Cuz this character is going to have like he's going to be really in touch with nature, so he is uh, going to know how to make potions and poisons and things like that. Anything that can help me stay alive, really. Alright, so 
We're at Helgen. There's a body around here I have to examine to start the quest. basically gonna say uh, we're about to chop everyone's head off and a dragon came and destroyed us there's Helgen's keep I'm gonna start on this side of Helgen's keep because I can't get to this side if I enter the other way if you notice bottom right hand corner the the uh, water icon the thirst icon turned yellow that means I'm getting thirsty and some of my uh, stats or abilities might be they might be affected so let's check here thirsty stamina magic are decreased by 10 points that's okay right now I only have a few water skins and I don't want to uh, waste them right now so and I'm not really using stamina or magicka yet Alright, another uh, couple rules I'm imposing. I'm not going to carry a bunch of weapons and armors to sell, so pretty much only carry what I'm going to use. Um, no storing weapons or armor or items in like a chest or something to come back for them later. That kind of takes the fun out of it for me. And if I think of anything else, I'll bring it up. I always like to go through here. There's things like uh, lock picks, and there's some things I can sell. And there's gold, and there's some food here, which again, food is of the utmost importance. I pick up pretty much every piece of food. Salt piles are like gold to me. All right, there's a dagger. I think there's a. I'm gonna pick up the imperial sword. Drop my iron sword. This and set it to two. I think there's a steel dagger around here too, so I'm gonna take that iron one yet. I like the daggers because um, if I'm playing like a stealth run through a dungeon, you can sneak up on bandits and other enemies and really do a lot of damage. There's a specific perk I need, but once I get it, it's great. Salt pile again. Picking up minor healing potions right now, but later on I won't pick those up as often because they kind of weigh a lot and they're almost not worth it. Because at a certain point I'll be able to make way stronger potions. Right, here we go. Um, steel dagger. I'm not picking up any of this other armor. The armor I have is just as good, if not better, and this armor provides warmth the hide armor that I have and if you get too cold it can really mess you up I think it can even kill you I'm not quite sure I haven't died from it yet but don't want to not gonna use shields just block with the, with the sword about increasing my lockpick skill because if you know Skyrim you can pretty much pick anything without a high lockpick skill. Um, take some gold, I'll take that spell tome and sell it. The magic, uh, I'll take the clothes because I did say I would carry an extra set of clothes um, but I'll probably sell those because I'm not going to really use those for magicka. I want to use Illusion and Alteration just because I think it would be fun. Um, I'm probably going to go down the Thieves Guild route or maybe the Dark Brotherhood. So it would be nice. I think it would make, um, I think it would make, you know, some assassin missions or theft missions a little.
little bit easier. And it might, uh, illusion and alteration might help me escape some sticky situations. And then I don't really play them that often. I have a conjuration build that I'm running as well. And that one's pretty fun. But I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of mage builds. Alright, this is what I hate about this. For some reason on this start, or I think any alternate start, they close off Helping's Keep. So I can't go all the way through to the end. So I gotta turn around. Grab this guy's arrows. I think he's arrows. Yeah. Yeah. That feels better than a longbow. Yeah. So I'm gonna go around the outside to the cave. That's where I'll find the find some more stuff in there, there's more loot. I'm gonna loot a lot because money is gonna be pretty important for buying new armor and weapons. Especially enchanted items. Anything that gives me an advantage I want to be able to purchase and equip. That being said, I know I'm not going to really train other crafting skills, but I might find a tutor for smithy up to a certain point. Uh, it's up to arcane blacksmith so I can improve enchanted weapons and armor. Again, I'm not going to make anything so I can just like make the best armor takes it away from me. It takes away from the game for me. Um, and I don't believe this character would be a great smith. You'll notice as I'm playing through some of the interiors of some of the buildings look different. That's a mod. Um, a lot of things might look a little different, but everything plays pretty much the same. And if you do get my mod list, if you ask for the mod list, I'll share it. And if you do get it, keep in mind, I have a pretty powerful system here that can handle all these mods. So always use mods at your own risk. Have fun with it. Okay, I'm going to go to that cave, which is literally the last part of where I was. But again, for some reason doesn't allow me to go all the way through. Yeah, nothing else in Helgen. It's worth uh, checking out or looting at this time. I swear there's a little bandit camp up here somewhere. And at a low level like this, you want to stay away from it. Or at least don't charge it, don't rush it. A little bit more I can do in here. Um. Oh, there he is. There's Hadvar. You can talk to him. He'll tell me to go to Riverwood. That starts the next portion of the quest. Um, you can heal him if you want. I'm not going to heal him because. My character doesn't give a shit about the Civil War. I'll talk to him about that. Not gonna heal you either. I am going to put this because there's a coin or something I'd like to get to.
take the frostbite venom. Anything I can do to increase my survivability. And I'm gonna loot every every uh, ingredient because I want to be able to make a lot of cool stuff. Yeah! Another thing with Sunhelm, the survival mod, I can't level up unless I sleep. So it's not like I'll level up in the middle of a fight and all of my all of my status bars will go to 100. But it doesn't prevent me from gaining experience and leveling up further. So if it takes me a while to find somewhere to sleep, I can uh, sometimes I'll increase two levels. Yep, there's where it's blocked off, so it's so dumb. Mod is broken. Honestly, don't think I've ever been here. So now I'm going to head over to Riverwood, there's a couple things I'm going to do along the way, but one of those things is not heal one of these two guys, because I don't feel like it. Let's go and check my ingredients right now, see what I can, I haven't eaten anything. I don't like to use salt piles and potions because salt is very valuable for cooking. So you can cook over a, uh, you can cook at a cooking pot with salt. Pretty much any meat plus salt is going to make a very powerful food. And by powerful, I mean it's going to heat. It's going to. It gives you a lot of points of hunger, which makes you less hungry. If that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Road here. Ah. No, I think that's where I was. Oh, actually, that's good. Let's go sleep so I can level up. I heard something. Hunger's Ooh. increasing as well. again, just because I'm low level, I don't want to take a mace to the forehead and get 80% of my health taken. Um, another perk point, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do archery, just max this out. I think I, I'll have another perk point if I go back in. Nope. Um, if you, I don't know if you saw it, but in the upper left hand corner it said I was sore from sleeping on the ground. You can't get a well rested bonus from sleeping outside or on the ground. So, I usually stop at an inn and do a lot of my sleeping. Um, let's cook while we're at it. Ah, uh, yeah, I got those, uh, got that food while I was in Helgen's Keep. Um, doesn't matter. Road here. I'll show you these signs once I find them. 
these, uh, these road signs kind of tell you where to go. thing about traveling to Riverwood right now is gotta be careful with wolves. They travel in packs like two or three and they will mess you up at a low level like this. But here's the reason I love mods. Like look how great the game looks. Blue Falls Barrow up there. It just looks so good. Ray tracing. I know. I do have a 3080, so that's why it's going to run so well. Alright, I'm going to do the Guardian Stones. Uh, there's a lot of stuff over here I could take, but I feel like someone put these here for a reason, and I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to take any of these ingredients. But I am... I'll take this off. I'll take these potions. Um, I'm going to use the Alchemy Lab real quick. Damage stamina. Let's do that. Oh, another mod that I have, I don't gain experience by by um, leveling up a, a particular, like, by leveling up a specific skill, I don't get experience. Um, I get experience for doing things like completing quests, killing enemies, finding new locations. I'm going to do the Thief Stone for, uh, for archery and light armor. Coming up here, there's gonna be some wolves, so maybe we can... You know what? Let's. So being hungry affects how fast your stamina regenerates. I'm going to eat and drink right now because if I have to run away from these wolves, I want to be able to regenerate stamina. Oh, well, they turned green. Green is good. Um, I'm gonna go the back way to Riverwood. So I think I can flank the wolves. Or not. See, I found the mine, so I got some experience. Bad move. You can take out a wolf. Oh, you. Take your pelt, though. <laughs> Adios. Yeah, I'm strong. I might jump in there. Oof. That was close. I think that was the closest I've ever come to dying by those wolves. I'll heal when I enter a building in Riverwood. Alright, perfect. It's a dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? I'm gonna go to Riverwood Trader, see what I can purchase or sell. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. <laughs> no great. adventures, no theater. Yeah. 
know. I don't know what you over. It's like a glitch in one of these mods. Trader is like still open. It like completely blacks out some of the character skins. Like if you you see his hands are colored properly. Um, uh, yeah. Let's start this An quest. Ornament. Solid gold. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. I got you. Show those thieves not. Take a look. All right. Let's see what I can sell first. Sell some pelts. We'll sell this felt tome and the journal. I don't like carrying books because they weigh too much and I don't really care about them. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Hold off on selling those. Let's sell the hood and the robes. Alright, let's see who he's got. My sword's just as good. Right, do I have a dagger? Yeah, I have a steel dagger. I'm good right now. Um, not gonna do backpacks. I think I'm pretty good other than, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the sleeping giant in. Now, if you're going to get those quest. thieves, you should head to Blue Falls Bend. All right, I'm gonna go to sleeping giant in and always oh, sleep. Let me see. Okay, I messed something up. We have to go through town and oh, the is it? Bricks. Yeah, I got work. a couple hours, yeah, so I just like to go to sleep around 10 or 11, wake up around 6 or 7 just to maximize daylight. Those thieves must um, be mad hiding out there. Those old trips are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Need to talk to What do you want? Not to talk to you. Whoever lives in this house, that's who I have to talk to. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No, what can I do for you, friend? Ain't used to Hobbit strangers here in Riverwood. I'm speaking here. Don't get any so idea. Everyone looks like Michael Jordan when they played for when he played for the Bulls. Ain't every day we get visitors ah, in River. What? That explains what I saw. You're right. The Jarl need we need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in White. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. Alright, so I started the main quest line in Bleak Falls. I'm gonna go have a sleep. And then we'll head up to Bleak Falls Barrow and try not to die. <laughs> got business here in Riverwood, eh? I gotta investigate the, uh, that mod. Hard not. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I always like to go to the inns and say I'm looking here, for work. Take a, look at a lot of times I'll give you these bounties, which kind of makes sense for my character. And um, you can get good gold. And it gets some of the experience. Jarl's men came by and left this bounty. Better. Mm -hmm. I right, was still feeding. We need to get a new. You're that visitor. I'm gonna rent sure a thing. room. It's yours for a day. And first off, I'm gonna Did you talk hear to me? him again. Need a room? Talk to Doug. Buy, I like to Let's buy food off of the appetite. innkeepers. Mm -hmm. And also salt piles. I don't usually buy ingredients because there's plenty you can find. Um, I like to buy anything that has a lot of um, hunger restoration. So, like for instance, this meat pie, grilled chicken breast, cooked beef. That's good for now. All right. Now, yep. before I Hail's sleep, bad. it's only eight o'clock, so I I'm gonna you... wait for three hours and then sleep. 
We have potatoes <clears throat> in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch. Alright, I have a level up available too, in. so that's Just good. Go so I'm gonna sleep for seven hours. Because seven hours will give me a well rested bonus. I think it has to do with like regenerating stamina or magicka. <clears throat> Alright, again, I'm gonna do health. And since we maxed out the first archery, I'm gonna max out light armor as well. Light armor mastery. Alright, now I should have take a seat. an extra perk point. Alright, here we go. So here, I'm gonna use it on sneak. help me get through bleak falls um, let's double check the alchemy lab real quick and we'll see it wipe clean Do I have anything I haven't eaten So now, well, let me use the cooking spit real quick. There we go. Should be good on food, but I am hungry and thirsty. But since I'm here, need a room. Great thing about the inns is you can get served a full meal. Of course, it's really cheap, and a lot of times, mm -hmm. yeah. All I have to do now is drink a little bit. Greetings. And he'll fill up my water. I'm just while I'm a here cook, well. lad. Of course. All right, there Until we go. Until next time. Hmm? So now I've maxed out all of my survival statuses, and I have a full night's rest, full food and water. Not carrying that much either. Yeah, 53 carry weight. That's gonna be kind of typical because after I get out of these dungeons, I'm gonna sell a lot of stuff. I'm gonna sell pretty much all um, soul gems. Not gonna really use any soul gems. Occasionally, I might keep some if they're filled uh, to regenerate enchanted items, but for the most part, I'm gonna sell those. So I do collect them even though I don't enchant anything. This is great too. Butterflies. Oh, they disappear. Gotta be careful here too, because there's some wolves. I'm getting a bonus to stamina. I wonder why. Um, ah, here's something. So being warm, I get a bonus to regenerating health. Well, rested, magicka regenerates quicker. Ah, thirst quenched. Stamina increased by 10. I was wondering why stamina was... Oh, let's go. Alright, let's kill this guy. Dude, there we go. I increased my one-handed as well. Because you can't always shoot a bow at everyone. Shoot an arrow, rather. Um, if you have questions or anything, put them in the comments. Also, this is the first video, and I have a pretty noisy keyboard. It's very clicky. I like it, but if it's uh, if it's a little annoying during the playthrough, uh, definitely say something. I've thought about getting a quieter keyboard, but just no reason to yet. All right, so I am getting cold. If we take a look comfortable still, but if I start to get cold, it can affect some of my stats. Um, this is my first interaction with human characters. I'll be careful. These guys are typically pretty easy, but you still have to be careful. Oh, let me check my difficulty real quick. I do want to play on Master. I've tried. I've, I've tried playing on legendary, and at low levels, it's just so tough. So I'm thinking around level 10, maybe I'll switch, but definitely not right now. It's it's like it's unplayable. All right, 
let's take this guy out. Oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna walk. God, I'm so bad sometimes. Got it. It's nothing. was decent. Iron arrow, steel arrow. Done that. Not too much loot. Oh, another great mod. I love this this looting mod, or I don't know what you want to call it, but this mod that allows you to loot without going into a menu. Um, I played a lot of Fallout 4, so it matches that. It saves so much time. Right, this person. There's one more person here take out what was that <laughs> blind <laughs> she used to be an adventurer oh she took an arrow to the face all right not gonna worry about any of that actually I want the steel shield or the steel sword as opposed to this Imperial sword because I hate the Imperials. Actually, I don't hate the Imperials, but let's favor the dagger as well. Put that at number three. Okay. There is a chest up here. I'm gonna take that helmet. Here, that was pretty uneventful, which is good, because eventful means that I probably almost died. The entrance to Bleak Falls Barrow is a little bit tougher, so I'm be careful here. There's sometimes a wolf right here, too. There's two archers over here and one bandit outlaw. The outlaws are tougher than just bandits. I think it's that guy up there on the left. So this can get a little tricky while that outlaw's still alive. go up those main stairs but let's try to go around the side if I can oh shit oh there we go ah oh, shit Oh shit. You're a fool to fight me. Alright. So he's taken care of. Now I'm just in a shootout with these two archers. And again, one of them is a bandit outlaw. Fuck. So he's tougher to take down. And he's a little bit better shot, I think. God. All right, took her out. Now I got the the boss the boss fight. All right, way over there. All right, let's pick up some of these arrows.
I get up here? Perfect. Alright, cool. I'm about to rush this guy. That's kind of OP. I should be able to see him through the wall. I have to figure out how to turn that off. close. Alright. Let's get the hell inside. Alright. Nothing we're taking. Alright, I'm out of battle, so I'm gonna do some healing. Use some of these minor healing potions. Let's poison my bow again. Cool. That was a little... Oof. favorite dungeon. I've probably done this dungeon like 500 times. Alright, another water skin. That's huge. That'll be three. Um, once you fill it up, you'll have three sips of water. Alright. I want to take her out first. She's an archer. Take him out. Damn elf. Pay for this. I like how they recognize that I'm an elf. Ooh. That's a shit way to go. I always like so if there's a hierarchy for types of enemies I like to take out first. Um Mages are first just because they're so powerful, especially at low levels. Then I like to take out archers because they get annoying. Um, melee enemies can't really do much unless they get right close to you. And hopefully I'll be able to take out a lot of enemies without getting that close. Alright, top left hand corner says I've not prayed in a while, so let's do that. Get some favor. Oh, I gotta put my, my sword away some favor with our deity cool 32% get out of here all right moving on gonna loot all burial urns that's where you're gonna find all your money makers your gems gold jewelry A lot of like BS items I'm gonna leave. Like I'm not gonna take any linen wraps. I'm not gonna use those probably ever. And I guess if I need some, I'll just uh, come back to Bleak Falls. All right, this guy. If you've never waited, he's actually gonna go ahead and get himself killed because he's an idiot. So let's, let's watch this. Never said bandits had the biggest brains. That's also a shitty way to go. Alright. Thanks for your stuff. Torch, that's good. A little bit of loot up here. I love this mod for the potions because you can tell what they are from far away. Alright, 
snake, snake, whale. That's how it's done, brother. Pocket, I'm definitely going to be increasing that skill as we move forward. There we go, soul gem. Oh, these skeevers here. I hate skeevers because they can like give you disease. I'm gonna try to take. Oh shit! I'm gonna try to take out one or two of them. I can't see it. Huh, <laughs> so bad. If I get killed by a skeever, I'm quitting. Quitting, I'm never uploading. And probably just on its But yeah, Master Difficulty's no joke at a low level. That's why I don't play Legendary, because that thing would have bit my face off and I'd probably be dead now. So there are a couple situations early on in the game where like you know, it's kinda like taking advantage of situations but it's really unless you're like I don't know great at this game and mastered every mechanic it's there's not that high chance of survival at these higher levels of difficulty for instance like the spider coming up it's like, like dude what are you supposed to do Just fight him straight up straight up hey. Manda man right here. No, so here's a little way to get around this. Alright, so the hang back in this doorway, the most he can do is spit his venom at you. Good because if he hits me melee, whew, he really fucks me up. I don't mind taking that. Another tough fight is going to be the Draugr at the end of this dungeon. Once I uh, get the shout, oof, you guys going to be rough. I'm gonna a lot of running around, I can already tell. I don't mind doing this, I have a hundred, let see, I have a, over a hundred, or did have over a hundred iron arrows. That should be good right there. Alright, cool. Now it's time to fuck this guy up. I didn't like slipping here. through here and just getting stuck there. Oh, that fucking suck. Help me out of here. You, over here. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Never should have come, you fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Soul gem, love those. They sell for good, good gold. All right, any urns worth? I used to use a mod called Better Loot, and it was way too powerful. Pretty much after this dungeon, I would have so many rubies, gemstones, whatever jewelry, I could make like eight thousand gold by selling it all. So I stopped using that. 
Alright, I have gone down right here before at this difficulty to these things, so gotta be very careful. Oh, come on. Sometimes the skeletons have gold, so you might see me running up to them when you'll be wondering, like, what the hell is this guy doing? Anything looks like that, stay away from, because that'll trap you on this door. That would suck. Alright. So here, I think here's another one. Why do I keep missing? Restless Draugr, it's going to be tough, so I'm going to have him follow me, and hopefully hurt himself. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. God, man, he's got magic. God. Whoo! That was too close for comfort. I mean, that's a really good example of just how thoughtful you have to be when going through these dungeons. At one, at a high difficulty, and two, on a permadeath run. Because you can't just charge in and fight everything straight on. Well, I'm lucky I didn't waken up any of the other draugers. See what I mean about also about mage enemies? God, they're such a pain in the ass. Alright, I think I've died here. I think that's my favorite way to kill enemies, is just by setting them up so they kill themselves. <laughs> Especially these things, because they're idiots. Alright. I think we're good for now, as far as enemies go. Ah, no, there's another room. Oh, 
Holy. That's a really good weapon to find this early. I don't know how I did that. Sorry, can't take it. Alright. Run through it, turn it off. Shit. Another. Gotta be careful here as well. So this guy, let's give him a fucking arrow to the head. I thought he was restless for some reason. See, top left corner, I get 5 XP for... Alright, so let's take... Die! There's one more. Alright, so I'm- oh, Garnet. I'm on a good run here as far as staying alive and finding some decent loot actually too. It's a great sword. Um, Restless too. Nope. Cool. Level up. Sick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to until I finish this, so that sucks. A lot of finding these scrolls. I am going to use scrolls. I don't know what justification I have for them, but um, I am going to use them. God, I wish there was a sleeping bag here, but there's no more bandits. That sound when you hit them for sneak damage, it's like so satisfying. I'm gonna sample it. Maybe I will. I'm gonna sample it. Skyrim remix. What's gold do I have? 524, not bad. Thing is, for enchanted items, which are items I like to buy, they're usually over a thousand, so. Alright, You know what? I need to run back up here real quick.
also let me know if you'd like to see this streamed if that's like how you prefer um, I wouldn't mind doing that either. Oh my god. This isn't even the last enemy. Oh, he's stuck. That's kind of messed up, but I'm about to die, so... Any advantage I can find. Alright, let's do a little healing. Speed up the process a little bit. Good item, but womp womp. <sighs> this boss fight is going to be impossible. I don't even know if I have enough arrows. I think if you would have caught me with that, this would never even have been uploaded. Alright, rule of thumb, each time I get out of battle, let's heal all the way. See a paral all right, paralysis poison. That's gonna be good for the boss fight. All right, here we go. Let's do some food. All right, well fed, perfect. Look 
luckily, if I remember correctly, he's the only only enemy in this room. So that's good. I can run around, fire arrows, and if I get brave, charge him with my steel sword. Alright, first. Let's do a little. We have ourselves an enchanted item. I would be able to unenchant it anyways. Never mind. Alright, that's good. Let's learn this. Let's get the fuck out of here. And hide. Not one of those droggers that has a shell that disarms me. Oh no. Right. Get it on the way. Alright. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Are you coming this way? Are you coming this way? Oof. God. Stay away from it for a second. Dummy. It's much different you have to play if you're playing permadeath. You can't just run in, level up as you're going, run in and just charge and attack a strong enemy like this. buddy Hours. 
another thing. It's got all these flowers. I like to leave it though. Looks like that was placed there for a reason. I don't know why. If anyone knows why, please tell me. But I like to leave it alone. I like to mess with the aesthetics too much. You know, my character's got a... He's real connected with the earth, so... Doesn't want to disturb anything. Okay. Dark out. Some potion here. Lock picking. That's nice. Alright, cool. The snow gets really weird. Because if you're like traveling the same direction as the snow, it looks like it doesn't even move. Now, heading back to Riverwood, but I do want to stop by Anise's cabin, because, oh, you can tell I'm getting cold. Good. It's like the effect on the perimeter of the screen, because it's, get, because it's cold. I like Anissa's cabin because there's a lot of there's a lot of ingredients in there and I can kind of use it as a checkpoint if I'm ever coming this way for sleeping and for um, alchemy. Oh shit. Dogs, man. I don't want to do it, don't make me. I wish they would leave me alone. Oh, I can get them to fight for me. I always forget that when I play Wood Elf. Um, command animal. Yes. Let's freaking equip that shit. That'll help with the, uh... That'll help with the wolves. Put one of them on my side. Alright, here's a niece. Let me heal up a sec here. I'm just a. I get so lonely I'm out here. I'm just a poor old woman. Yeah. Okay. If we get on here. Shit. So where the hell is it? read her book. Anise's journal, whatever it is. Ah, letter. Yeah, she's some sort of witch trying to team up with her witch friends. Once you read that, you go upstairs. She's gonna attack me, so I get my bow out. Alright, she's gonna be outside of her door. And I think she's a conjurer as well, so is someone there? Fool. None may know my secret. Ah, shit. I've outlived worse than this. Damn it. If I die to her, I'm gonna be so pissed after I just made it through that whole bleak falls. Never died to a niece. Sell her robes. What the am I doing with this? Yeah, I can sell this. Alright, cool. Now, Anissa's place. I'm gonna steal all this shit. I don't care. Oh, you know what? I think if I sleep. Level up. Um, see health again. Light armor. Let's do sneak. Right. There are some. Yes, I do want to get that. That's 
what's next on my list. Alright, I should be close to level 6. Yeah, very close. Alchemy increases, perfect. I'm gonna steal everything in here. I'm not necessarily a good guy. I don't like lawful good. So, I don't mind stealing this stuff. Can't sell it right now at least, but I'm going to be able to make some good potions downstairs, I believe. Anything in here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, let's take those. Let's take salt pile. Yes. Lot of stuff in here. I love it. Death bell. High raven's feathers. Oh, no. oh. Alright. Take that with me. I need glass. I need drop glass. Can't sell it anyways. Can't sell these either. Alright, so let's eat anything I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Whatever mod I have that makes my guy scream when he's in pain, it just cracks me up. Oh, he doesn't look very good right now, though. Stamina poison. And the potion of resist frost, that's good. Hola. Poison, paralysis, ooh, potent paralysis potion. That might be good for the dragon battle. Alright, moving on. I'm gonna head back to Riverwood now, which is just across the way here. See? Sometimes walking through the snow, it's like doesn't even look like you're making any progress. You're going the same way as this guy. Let's try out my trusty command animal. In case you didn't know, the reason I like to do Bleak Falls Barrow before... Oh, we got a courier here. I've been looking for you. I... Looks like that's it. Got to go. Alright. So the reason I like to do Bleak Falls Barrow Witches before... Witches beyond imagining. Shut up. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Ooh, sounds Cassia. Good. Not doing that right now. Um, the reason I like to do Bleak Falls first is because you get the Dragonstone and you need that to progress into the... Um, through the main quest line. So, got the dragonstone here. So, 
I don't have to come back and then go back. Don't let my sister. Right. You've, I'm gonna Let's put get this paid. Back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, no problem, Lucas. You're back from Bleak Falls. Did you find anything? Thank Shit. you so. All right. Some may call this junk. Me, right. I call them treasures. treasures. The way I like to do things, I always like to sell stuff before I buy stuff, because hopping back and forth, you can end up selling things you didn't want to sell. Let's sell these wolf pelts, all the soul gems. Let's hold on to those. Is there anything in here I can sell? Don't really want to. Sell that. Um, sell that. Nothing I'm able to do with that. Alright, now let's see if he's got anything new. I just scroll through here real quick and see if there's anything at the bottom that's better than what I already have. The only thing that's adding anything are shields, and I'm not using those. Um, I don't want to buy any of those either. Nope, good here. All right. Mm hmm. So weird I can take this. <clears throat> I want to see if he had any spells. So I can start training my illusion and alteration. You and me. We're the only Ah, good to see you. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. Oh shit. Well next time. Need something? What time is it? Yeah, everyone's gonna be asleep. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go rent a room, get some sleep, maybe level up if I can. And uh, in the next video, I'll head over to well, Whiterun let me know if you want anything. and this is a local favorite and continue the we got rooms main and food. quest line. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? There's a couple more things I wanna do here. Let's buy a couple bottles of water. Um. All right then. I'm the innkeeper. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, that'll be it for this episode. Um, on the next video, like I said, we'll head to White Run, continue the main quest, and hopefully uh, get the dragon spawning. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.